I'm going to bring up the very funny Randall Moore. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen. What's going on, dog days? How you guys doing hey. that? Oh man, my dad texted me today. Yeah, I bought a new truck. Made me real happy. I feel like a lot of you guys are looking at me kind of weird. Just like I am one of those black men that grew up with a positive male figure in my life. <laughs> I'd, be the, I'd be the statistic. Oh, my dad's the most delightful racist you'd ever meet in your life. Like he's taught me like a lot of positive life lessons like don't trust a redneck. Don't trust a cracker. Don't trust a cracker ass redneck cracker. Don't trust a nigga. Cause a nigga might not be your nigga. He might be a nigga. <laughs> Thanks, Dad, for those valuable life lessons. Oh man. Racism's a motherfucker, man. I grew up in Texas, man. I grew up in the country. And I've noticed out here. Racism's a little bit different. It's subtle. You know, in Texas, that shit is in your fucking face. If I walk into a bar in Texas and it's plastic and Delaware paraphernalia and Confederate flags, I know I should not be in there. <laughs> and hell, 90% of the time, the bartender will fucking tell you. You walk in there, I'm like, come on, buddy. Get out of here. I'm like, you're right. I'm like, go back to Africa. Hey, you go back to Europe. <laughs> Like I know it's like out here, like it's like liberal racism. Like, just assume that I just know shit that's stereotypically black just because I am black. Like, stop asking me to teach you guys new dances. I don't know every new dance in the book. I have no idea what that is, young man. Teach me how to gentrify a neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember a few months back, Oprah did that award show, and uh, right afterward, everybody was like, oh, for president, man. While well, she didn't say anything about fucking Oprah running for president, she's made a powerful fucking speech. Me, I didn't give a shit. But a couple of my liberal buddies, white people, <laughs> they come running up to me in the bar. <laughs> Who's excited for Oprah running for president? I'm like, probably fucking you, bitch. <laughs> It's like a racial bias. You guys know what a racial bias is? is like, yes, I'm biracial. No, Keenan. I said a racial bias. A racial bias is something that somebody says that's overtly racist, but you just give them a bias like they didn't know what they said. You know? It's like, my biggest one is I hate it when people say, you're pretty cute for a black dude. Like, that's like walking to somebody and saying, you're pretty smart for a dumb motherfucker. <laughs> I have this chick that I confide in, you know, I talk about dating and stuff with her, you know. She's always asking me, you know, why I'm single. And we're chatting, and she's just like, yeah, you know, you're handsome, you're so funny, and you're so, so cute for a black guy. And me being over racial bias, I compliment her ass like she complimented me. And I was like, oh, thanks for that. And you're pretty slim for a fat bitch. <laughs> We live in an age right now where people just want to bring you into their own bullshit. Like, I look like this. I know right now I'm like, you're approachable, but you should look like this. And try to ward off the approaching public. But apparently my aura just invites people in. Just the other day, I'm walking up the street, some white guy approaches me, and he's like, hey man, I try to tell you, man, I gotta apologize on behalf of all white people to you. And I was like, dude, man, stop. Stop, man, you don't gotta do that. And he's like, no, man, no, I have to do this. Now enough people that look like me apologize to people that look like you. We owe you so much. And I was like, all right, cool, man. Give me your wallet. <laughs> and this motherfucker called the cops on me, man. Fucking facing felony theft charges right now. Oh man, I went to one of my exes at the grocery store. It's kind of awkward because she has a restraining order on me. 
for assault. But uh, it's like, not what you guys think. It's like, I like to be sexually adventurous and shit, you know? So one day I was like driving home, and I'm like, you know what, when I get home, we're gonna do a standing 69. So I get home, I kick the door in, snap her clothes off, because I'm fucking magic. <laughs> Pick her up, and see the child went down. And that's not how you have to vagina, but for the sake of the joke, that's how I eat a vagina. <laughs> Probably about 30 seconds in, I realized I overestimated my own strength, and my knees started to buckle. And I don't know if you guys ever watched like WWE, or are familiar with Undertaker, <laughs> but I just dropped and spiked his little head square to the ground, knocking her damn near unconscious. And I fucking, I freaked out, man. I fucking freaked out. Because Randall Allen Moore ain't a bitch. I'm a goddamn thug. So I just rolled her ass over. I pinned her for the one, two, three. <laughs> and I just broke the fuck out. Everything's <laughs> hey, guys, you guys have a good evening. <laughs>